Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Land Place of Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. I figure while we're looking for, um, Blinding Baby, which of course I now know is just Sun Blank Card, why don't we do some Eden Runs, uh, to kind of get ourselves back in the swing of things. We are approaching Real Platinum God, or Real Real Platinum God, whatever it's called now, WVSC SKJW. Um, I like playing Eden Runs. Eden has been completed for us for a long time. So we really haven't had too much of an opportunity to play as Eden outside of like streams and stuff like that. So I figure I would like to take the opportunity to, to check it out. Also, I should apologize. My voice might be a little bit hoarse. I've come down with something. I don't understand how how sickness works anymore, man. Like the last couple of times I've had a cold, I've been like fine. Oh, I, by the way, I shouldn't even bring this up because we're diagnosing on the internet. It's a bad idea. Let's go for the two heart deal, uh, which thankfully gave me Abaddon or I would be dead. And then Succubus. That was an amazing deal. I never should have taken it, but it worked out fantastically. I don't know what I was thinking there. Um, but uh, I felt like fine, and then like two hours later, I have a fever, and I feel... Really? That didn't work? I feel terribly for like one night, and then I wake up the next day and I'm better, and I just sort of get over it. I mean, I'm not really complaining or s suggesting that I'm some kind of like, oh, take my body to science to be studied, but... I've, I've had some weird, like, little mini colds over the past year that don't really seem to knock me out that much, but uh, I guess it's better than the alternative. But anyway, um, this is an unbelievably good run so far, and I'm excited to be playing as Eden again because it's, you know, basically variety. You know, variety all the time. Which is pretty much also my reading list. I exclusively read, uh, you know, the periodicals from Hollywood telling me who's starring in... Variety is a magazine, the United States, that I believe uh, deals pretty much exclusively with film and television production. Don't quote me on that, I'm not totally sure. I don't think I've re ever read an issue of Variety myself. Do they sell it? Can you just buy Variety from, like, a newsstand? Do newsstands exist? I don't know, is, is this thing on? Hello! Uh, but yeah, it might be a little hoarse. Um, if my commentary sounds like it's from a fever dream, I'm not dreaming, but I, I have had a little bit of a fever, so that, you know, could be, uh, could I could compensate for it or explain it, I mean to say. So, we're really looking, the sun card, if we find one, we're gonna hold, no doubt about it. Um, blank card is the one that's a little bit trickier to get, so... We are going to try to give ourselves every opportunity to get into shops. I'm not going to force it too hard, I guess, is what I'm trying to get at. Like, I'm not going to worry too much. Oh, come on. I, I, we still got it, but still. I wanted to kill the enemies, too. Uh, I'm not going to worry too much about forcing it. We can always try that later. Um, if we have to, I guess. You know, trying to engineer it by holding R, you know. I guess doing greed mode is probably the most sensible way to expedite that process, but... If we don't have to do it yet, um, I'd rather just have some fun playing Isaac, and, and hopefully it'll happen along the way. That's how it worked for Meat Boy. Although it was quite tedious, it did take, or maybe it was Bandage Girl, I can't remember what the last one was for us. It was one of the two Meat Boy or Bandage Girl things, and then finding um, Raw Liver. It took forever for us, but we had a lot of fun in the process, which was cool. Plus, we get to actually try out all the stuff that we've learned over trying to fill out the post-it notes. It's taken me, I have to admit, longer than I thought it would. I mean, when Rebirth came out, I got Real Platinum God before Kate and I went to Japan, which was, like, around this time last year. So I think I've been a little bit slower. But there's been more stuff. To, well, some of the stuff we've had to do again. And then also, you know, more characters and uh, more more challenges to get uncovered as well. But all the stuff we've got to do now is pretty much exclusively... Oh, plus half of my runs have been dailies, now that I think about it. That definitely compensates for it uh, mathematically as well. Sure, I'll, I'll try... That was really bad. I, I'll still use a bomb for Fear Shot. It's not great, but we should get it. It's part of the flavor of the run. PhD deck of cards. Probably you start deck of cards here, right? And yeah, we might as well get PhD as well. Bad guess. That's a classic. High Priestess. But you know why I'm thinking we uh, get PhD, I assume. Or, not PhD, sorry, it's a deck of cards. If we get the sun, then all we need is a blank card to swing it. And we still pretty much have, you know, a decent amount of money here. So we should get a deal with the devil on this floor uh, as well, even though we got one on the last floor. That was not uh, going to factor into our penalty as a result of the fact that we just got it for free. And then Small Rock shows up, and then Monstro got stepped on, and this fight is over. A syringe, especially one that gives us a speed upgrade, is not too bad. At least it's not experimental treatment. It's no synth oil, but at least it's not experimental treatment. And we will take 
Um, the lump of coal. See if our Papula duplex shots gets bigger. I do think they do. And we'll head down to the next floor. Feeling great about this run from like a winning standpoint. Oh my god, we can go to the chest again. We could do self-sacrifice rooms if we want to. I don't think I'm going to make self-sacrifice rooms uh, too much of a factor on my on my average runs. Like if we get back into streaking. I don't think that th those are going to be too much of a factor for me. But we'll see. On dailies, they're really productive. because they're, they're really nice because you get the opportunity to maybe skirt around the rules a little bit and get a nice little score boost. But I do think that it deprives the game of a little bit of its enjoyment, which is, you know, the journey of things. Instead of just like, oh, I got a lot of HP early. Let's just skip to the end of the game. Sometimes it's fun to do that, but I'll probably just try to go for a little bit more full-on absurdity here. Bomb for a bomb and a key seems like a solid deal. Although, I guess technically we did two bombs for it. Mm, two more spirit hearts is also really good, except I skipped one like an idiot. But we got money equals power. I don't need to go back for that spirit heart. Let's be real. Our HP is good. I'm, I'm ready to get back into the state of, uh, you know, being yelled at for making dumb mistakes like that. It fits like a glove. That's uh, meant to be uh, the Honorable Sir James Carey, a.k.a. Jim Carey, a.k.a. The Mask, a.k.a. Harry Truman from The Truman Show. I'm being a little facetious. You know, I called him Sir. He may actually have... He might not have been knighted. I'm pretty sure Jim Carrey's not been knighted. But I would be very surprised to find out he doesn't have the Order of Canada. The Order of Canada is basically like key to the city, but for our whole country. You get the Order of Canada when you've like... Made great services to the... The Canadian nation. You know, advancing the cause of our country through the world stage. I don't know if there's an analog in, in America. I'm trying to think of it. Congressional Medal of Honor or something like that. But the Order of Canada seems like a little bit less intense, if that makes sense. Like, if, if I heard that somebody had the Order of Canada, I'd be like, oh, cool, are you like an author or something? If I heard that someone had the Congressional Medal of Honor, I'd be like, You're, this country needs more people like you, your goddamn war hero. I know I don't live in the same country, but anyway. Um, run's going well so far. Basically, just still harping on uh, this, hoping to get a Sun card. We could use the Fool to teleport out of the boss room. Uh, boss Rush, I should say, but I'm not really that interested in that. I'm more interested in having a a chance, however small, of picking up Blinding Baby. Please be uh, Magic Mush. Mini Mush is still okay. And we know that pills are good, so bombs are going to be pretty decent for us on the regular as well. Damage is going well. I mean, Pacifier is like... People always try to get it to stick in my brain. It hasn't quite hit yet, but one day it will. Pacifier is the same damage up as Sad Onion. Is that correct? I, I waited for an answer as if there would be one, but I'm sure in the comments there will be. I almost said raw onion, which isn't an item, but can be delicious. You ever have raw onion? I know that people are going to think that's that's crazy. I'm not suggesting you just, you know, peel an onion, you know, with your fingernails or something like that, and then, you know, munch into it as if it's an apple. That, sh that shit is going to, like, ruin your mouth, for real. And not in, like, a pervy sort of way, I guess. Are we going to try to buy one of these? I guess we might as well try... That is not blank card, but it is useful for us. Um, but at Korean Barbecue, they will uh, serve you, well, sometimes as a side dish or an aperitif, if you will. I think an aperitif is actually a kind of alcohol, so I, I didn't mean aperitif, but oh, we got to take all three if we can. Cursed Eye? You wouldn't. I always think it's got to be a guppy item. It was not a guppy item. Goathead made that all worthwhile, but still. Um, yeah, sure, let's go the Hermit first. Um, They'll serve you a little uh, raw onion, sliced, but in like a soy sauce kind of like marinade. It's it's quite nice. And I, if I swear to God, if I see people in the comments go, oh, NL, I've been to Korean barbecue four times in my life. And I lived I lived in South Korea. All right. So for now, this is an important lesson in trusting people who have a little bit more experience than you to not lie to you. I wouldn't lie to you about raw onions at Korean barbecue. Okay. I would lie to you saying, uh, hey, the coffee just tastes better when you drink it out of my Northern Lion mug from districtlines.com slash Northern Lion, but I wouldn't lie to you about something important like Korean barbecue side dishes, for example. That would just be ridiculous. Okay, we're gonna deal with Mega Fatty here. I don't love having Cursed Eye, um, but you know what? Now I don't have to worry about it from a daily standpoint because I don't actually have to fight Hush. That's the other thing. I don't have to fight Hush anymore. If I teleport out of this room, I just don't come back. Oh, that's beautiful, man. 
And we can actually force ourselves to teleport out of bus rush. Or bus rush. All right, you got to give me a second here. I received two text messages in quick succession. Normally, that's a sign of uh, bad things. No, this is not... It's not bad things! One of my friends moved to Vancouver, and he invited me out for uh, a beverage on Wednesday. Doesn't that sum up my worldview in kind of a sad way? That I got two text messages in a row, and I was like, Somebody died. Nobody died. And I'm thankful for that. Um, and I know that's probably foreign to today's youth. Today's youths. But, uh... I, uh, I didn't really grow up in an era when people texted all the time. Like, be real with me. I'm assuming I already know the answer, but, uh, what, at what age, oh, the sun, don't use it. This is good. At what age did, did children get their first cell phone now? And don't answer as if, like, if you're 20 now, don't say, oh, back in my day, you had to be 14 to have a cell phone. What age did kids get their first cell phone now? It's probably like before they're 10, right? I mean, even in 2010 when I was teaching in Korea, there were, uh, you know, five-year-olds that would have cell phones. And you'd have to be like, hey, uh, Blinky, put your cell phone away. And it was a, it was a wild time in, in my life to not even own a cell phone at that time. But I do now, and I appreciate the value of a smartphone. Um, and, and be yelling at a five-year-old to put a piece of technology away. It was, it was outrageous. Um... I didn't grow up in that era. I didn't have my first, like, actual cell phone. Not to be like, oh, back in my day. But I didn't have my first, like, cell phone that just I owned. Not like a family cell phone. Until I was... I guess I would have been 19. And then, even then, I intermittently just went without one for, like, long periods of time. So, like, when I when I talk to my friends, we actually just send each other smoke signals instead. Uh, anyway. I don't know what I was getting at. I received two text messages, but it was good news. I think it says something about my, my, uh... Predilection towards thinking it's the worst, that getting two text messages was like, Oh shit, I better, like, stop the video for a second, or at least stop playing for a second. Alright, I also need to remind myself, please, do not pop the sun card. Brain, we've, you and I have had some great times together, and we've had some not so great times together. It would be sweet if you just made it so I didn't pick up the sun card. Or, sorry, didn't use the sun card. Picking up the sun card is fantastic. Now we gotta find some way to force blank card into the situation at hand here. I don't really know if there's an easy way around that. Uh, it's a second sun card? What is this? Infamous? Uh, <laughs> PlayStation 4. PlayStation 4 joke. Just one of those old PS4 jokes, you know. Uh, we should take the money. We actually need the money. We're on Dank Devs 1? Dank Devs 1, okay. So, yeah, we'll, we'll check this out. I mean, it could be a black market down here, which would actually be awesome for allowing us the opportunity to pay three spirit hearts for, uh, for blank card. This could actually be blinding baby accomplished right here. Not a crawl space. It's actually a black market. Holy shit. This could, this could come true right now. I don't see blank card. I don't see blank card. Oh, you, I started a joke that started the whole world, but that's okay. Sackboy's really good. I don't think Mom's Box of Trinkets is worth three Spirit Hearts, and we gotta save the rest of our money. But uh, I do appreciate that, and if we get a Perthra rune, I'm all in. Sackboy's huge, by the way. Extra battery charges, of course, awesome. We do get three Spirit Hearts just for sitting there, so we pretty much just got a free Sackboy, and if we get a Perthra rune, then, uh, you know, life's, life's awesome. Someone on, I think it was in, it might have been in stream, but it might have been in a YouTube comment. They said, NL, I'll give you $500. If you, uh, if you rap all of AZ's verse from Life's a Bitch by Nas. And he, in the comment, I'm assuming it's male, but it might not be. Uh, they threw down. They said, I bet you can't. And you know what? You're right, I can't. But I'll do it for free. It, it's really just there's a couple of words that get me, you know? It's like, realizing the realism, a life in actuality, fuck who's the baddest. A person's status depends on salary, something like that. And then, my mentality is... Money orientated. I'm destined to live the dream for all my peeps who never made it. We were beginners in the hood. And then I lose it a little bit. It's like us five percenters. Most of us turn to sinners, but some of us turn to quitters. I can't remember. Uh, yeah, you know what? I'm not giving you $500. That's not the way the bet works. But I, I hope that I at least showed you that, uh, you know, I'm not just a casual 
fan of, of NOS, you know? I've got most of it down there. Now, some are resting in peace and some are sitting in San Quentin. Others, such as myself, uh, are trying to carry on tradition. Anyway, you get the idea. Even though we know somehow we all gotta go, but as long as we leave in Thieving, we'll be leaving with some kind of dose. So, until that day we expire and turn to vapor, me and my capos, it doesn't really rhyme the way I say it, uh, will be somewhere stacking plenty paper, keeping it real, packing steel, getting high, because life's a bitch and then you die. Just because I am a pale man does not mean that I, I don't uh, get down with the rap music from time to time. And that is, uh, it's offensive that you would suggest that. I'm mostly being facetious, but... That's actually my rap name, Mostly Facetious. Even your superficial raps is super official. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. Okay, Monster 2 is gonna die here. We still have... Not found what we're looking for. Classic song. But we also, uh... Have one more floor to, like, have the best chance possible to make it happen. And Blank Card could still show up on the chest. Uh, if it does, great. If it doesn't, that's also fine. I've had a fun time on this run. Uh, let's see what we got going on in here. Another Isaac's Room would give us another chance as well. Hangman. Uh, we could also do Boss Rush. We, we should at least poke our head into Boss Rush and see if it's, like, uh... If it's plausible, we might get hit here. It's very common to get hit there. There's Karma. Um, I don't actually know what this does. It's Karma up, apparently. That's good. I, I guess I was previously Karma neutral, but if we can operate at a carbon, you know... Sorry, Karma surplus, that would be even better. Uh, the joke became the reality there, temporarily. Alrighty, just keep moving. Um, we don't really, like... I know people are going to be like, why don't you use the battery some more? I mean, that is the reason we got Sackboy. But uh, one of the reasons I'm not using the the charges so much from our deck of cards is because I already have the card that I want. And I kind of just want to stick with it. Like, I don't really want to mess with it. I have a dice room. We can't re-roll ourselves into blank cards, so I'd, I'd be a little wary about using it. Holy shit, we can play Judgments now again. I've got to, like, recalibrate my whole... Well, whoops. Got to recalibrate my whole lifestyle here. We could totally play that judgment. In fact, well, we should wait. Oh, that was very dumb. We should wait until we get into the shop to see if there's items we want to buy there. But afterwards, we should totally play that judgment, man. There's basically no reason not to. Almost got hit again. I think we got him. Okay. Uh, didn't even need to come here, but I guess I'm glad I did. Two sun cards? No, one's a joker. We might as well use the joker because we have to keep the sun. And Mob the Void is absolutely worth taking. At this point, we could take Satanic Bible, but... I, I kind of like, if I fuck it up, I want a second chance. <laughs> I want a second chance to get another sun card elsewhere, I guess. Alright, so our shop is like right down there towards the end. Plenty of double key situations, no question about that. And here's our dice room. Give it a minute. Dice room is a one. I really can't, uh, basically under any circumstance, do that. We need to keep our sun card. I don't know if it would reroll our sun card, but it would definitely reroll deck of cards. Perthrow rune. That's so good. We can take that into our shop. We should go shop first, so I don't accidentally use it on our uh, on our item room until we know we can. Because if it's not blank card. Then, uh, we want to, even if it's great, we want to, oh, that's the wrong direction. Even if it's great, we want to try. Those are not blank card. So we per throw. These are also not blank card. I gotta be real with you, that's very disappointing. However, this doesn't mean that we're sunk on this run. First off, we're having a good time. Are you having a good time? I'm having a good time. Um, there could be more runes. More likely, um, we're looking at a situation in which... We're probably just going to have fun on this run. Uh, we could Stars card out, but I think it's in our best interest to grab the Sun card instead. And just hold on to it to make sure we're fine. And we don't have to do Boss Rush. We could, but we don't have to. And with all these bombs, let's kick some of them in there, get these sacks. You never know if there might be a Perthrow room just kind of chilling back there. Doesn't look like it. To get two of spades. Nothing to sneeze at there. Nope, not the stars. That's alright. With any achievement like this, or any, you know, special unlock like this, 
you have to know that your odds are not very good going in, and that way you can temper your expectations. We're obviously not going to make it happen on every single run. We're not yet at the point where we need to force it. And I'm having fun with it nonetheless. Man, Maw of the Void and Cursed Eye, dare I say, actually sort of synergize with one another. And the thing with Cursed Eye is I can't use it to teleport out. I mean, literally, yes, you can. But I, for whatever reason, can't seem to force myself to teleport out. So if we, uh, if we like the item, we gotta like it enough to do it. Holy shit, it's blank card. Okay. Fair enough, then. Um, we win. So blank card, son. And we got blinding baby. Um, well, that's a surprise. This one goes out for, uh, all my peeps who never made it. Now, we might be able to teleport out, actually. If we, uh... I mean, we could use... Oh, there we go. We just teleported out. That's perfect. We got it done. I mean, blank card some would have been awesome, but I was like, we might as well just keep re-rolling until we get another pill. So, or another card uh, that we can use to teleport out. So, we got Blinding, baby. Uh, that's sorted now. I think we're pretty much just in the market for... Uh, for finding Mega now? What are you doing, cat? You were trying to destroy your cat castle? To sleep on the ground? Oh, I won't be having this. No, this is not okay. Uh, I know I just bought this, but I'm actually going to take Satanic Bible. And the reason I'm going to take Satanic Bible... Uh, well, there are many reasons I'm going to take Satanic Bible. One of them is that we get a lot of battery charges. Another one is that I don't want to be using a charge shot and uh, blue candle at the same time if I can avoid it. We don't even have to finish the whole run. We can just... Uh, like, I, I, I want to finish the whole run, but I we don't have to finish the whole run to get the achievement, is what I'm trying to say. We've already, you know, done our part. Which is awesome, okay. Like I said, you know, you can't rely on it happening. It's only once you truly let go that it's a guarantee. So, remember that with your Powerball numbers. Uh, if you don't believe you will win, you have a 100% shot. Hold up, that's not what I meant to say. Everyone's making fun of that dude. Apparently it was a satirical news piece to begin with, but everybody's making fun of that dude... Who said that um, the best way to give yourself a greater chance to win the lottery is to buy as many tickets as you can afford. That dude, I feel for him. I, I get it's satire, but let's assume that it was real for a moment. I would feel for that dude because he's giving you like the mathematically correct answer. What he's not doing is is adding the part at the end that says, by the way, like don't do that. It's a terrible idea. Your odds of winning are still horrible relative to the cost that you're paying um, out, of, out of your net worth, basically. But if someone asks you, like, hey, what's your best way to maximize your chances to win the lottery? That's that's the answer. Buy as many tickets as you can. And I feel like people are missing the point when they're going, he doesn't get it. Because he does get it. I don't think we want continuum there. Uh, that damage that I took is mine and mine alone. But I got distracted. I thought I heard my wife shouting from the other room. If she's shouting at me because she's mad at me, I can... I'll just hide out in here for a bit. But if she's shouting at me for help, I need to be aware of that. It's the first credo of, of marriage. I don't know what credo means, but I know that he's a character in the Star Wars universe. First appears uh, on film, at least, in the Maz Eisley Cantina. Uh, we could teleport to fight Mega Satan now, but I kind of want to actually like go to the chest because we can. Hey, was rude. We have Goat Head, uh, so I don't really want to do that right now. We'll just keep moving on. I mean, we, we can't be very far away from our boss fight. I'm not going to fight Hush either. For people who are, like, wondering what, like, my standard strategy is going to be for, like, uh, doing streaking runs or Eden runs or stuff like that, I don't plan to include the Hush except when it looks like it would be fun. I kind of treat it like... You know, Mega Satan, Hush is definitely an optional boss. Boss Rush is is super 100% optional, but most of the time I'll be trying to get in there and steal an item from it if possible. But yeah, it, it, they're not going to be like Hush percentage runs. It's just going to be like, you know, get through it. Uh, beat Blue Baby if you want to. Sure, why not? Go ahead and beat uh, the Lamb instead. But Blue Baby is going to be the common one for sure. Oh man, it's so much better to get a, a basically, basically a black heart deal... Or a one black card cost for Spirit of the Night that actually turned us into Leviathan anyway, as opposed to giving up our Satanic Bible to do this nonsense and, you know, pick up the, the pony, the white pony. Which I think is a reference to cocaine? I don't know, though. The white pony? 
It's not like a Seinfeld thing. Was Elaine's riding the white pony again? Something like that. Elaine doesn't do cocaine in the Seinfeld universe, at least not on camera, to the best of my knowledge. But she uses it as a plot device um, to get out of something. There is a there is a misunderstanding, I believe, as Seinfeld is wont to have. Is that Seinfeld? Seinfeld? I've watched a ton of it. And I, I really sincerely enjoy the show, but I never really figured out how to pronounce it, I suppose. Credit card. Ah, I mean, we should use credit card right now. That red poop's coming back. Because there is going to be a deal with the devil here. Okay, get this charged up. And then you're going to mob the void the shit out of mom. Problem is, it takes, like, forever to charge. Don't teleport me. All right, one more. I don't really care if we get hit here because we have a Satanic Bible ready anyway. Deal with the devil. Oh, that's dumb damage. But we credit card. Oh shit, it's Brimstone. And Sister Maggie. But mostly Brimstone. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. I thought for a second it got stuck. Oh, come on. I thought for a second it got stuck on our Mob the Void uh, ring. And I was like, well, that's like super shitty. But does not appear that that's the case. All right, uh, Mom's Eye actually worked for us on this floor. Let's sun card, see where we're going. Infested. Let's be real, we're not getting a guppy pay out here. In all likelihood, at least, so we'll just move along. What happens now? We, like, look for Mega? I don't, I still don't think I've seen the unlock for Mega. And I definitely have not picked it up outside of a daily. Maybe we unlocked Mega and I just forgot about it, but... You think that's the kind of thing you'd probably remember? I don't know at this point. But now that Blinding Baby's been taken care of, you know, there's one piece of the puzzle, I suppose. And we can just keep doing Eden runs and... Pack and Steel getting high because life's a bitch and then you die, right? It's not really a, a, it's a list of tenants that I live my life by. I have never packed steel, and oftentimes uh, get mocked for not knowing the difference between a clip and a magazine. And then when they, when they tell me the difference, I say, yes, good sir, thank you very much for your uh, elucidation of um, the difference between a clip and a magazine. But is language, its sole purpose is not to uh, demean others and be used as a tool of the classes, but rather to uh, communicate between one and two of the noble, uh, and you get the idea, no, the noble populace. And then they say, shut up, nerd, I'm going to take your lunch money. And I say, not again, Gareth. I wanted to get the, the Fry Supreme today. I've never had Fry Supreme. That's how you know that that is a jest and not a real story that ever happened to me. Isaac is dead. We're still only 25 minutes deep here, so we're making pretty good time, is the way that I would put it. And, uh... I used the sun card on the cathedral. We still got the chest upcoming here. Curse of the Lost. Yeah, it could be worse. Proptosis is awesome. Everything else is like just okay. Celtic Cross, I think at this point is meaningless unless I accidentally pick up HP, but uh, Proptosis is like incredibly good. Yeah, I didn't even do anything on that room. <laughs> In fact, enemies just seem to be dying. I'm sure that one or more of my maybe familiars are responsible for this, but uh, a lot of the enemies just seem to be passing away immediately. And that's, I consider this fairly positive for my own personal reasons, but... Does Maw of the Void uh, scale proportionately to your damage? Because if so, that would definitely explain why Maw of the Void is just kicking shell right now. Northern Line, did you just make a very thinly veiled reference to the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. Cowabunga, dude. Yeah, it definitely seems like Ma the Void is chewing him up here. Thank God for Gimpy giving us all those red hearts as well. Look, Gimpy, I'm not insulting you. I'm just calling attention to the absurdity of the situation. Rune bag. Uh, no rune that opens the Mega Satan fight. So I'm pretty sure that we end where we end here. Homing tears are the next thing I'm looking for. Come on, you got me. 
Probably should kill the dude with the card last, but that's okay. Power pill's pretty solid, except we do way more damage by actually shooting than we would by popping the power pill. But if somehow we get hit 12 times on, uh, or 11 times, and then never get a Gertie or a Gimpy payout, we'll be interested to do it. Let's just finish it off with the power pill just to say fuck you. That probably was the mom transformation that finished it, but for now... Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.